Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be testing out some new Flower Beauty makeup that I found on their website. I haven't seen this yet hit the Ulta website, so I don't know when or if that's going to happen, but I did have a really good experience ordering from Flower Beauty. I placed my order on a Thursday morning, and a few hours later the same day I got the notice that it had already shipped out, and it got to my house on Saturday morning with the mail. So I thought that was really fast and actually quicker than ordering from Ulta, so I was overall very impressed with how quickly they got the order out it was packaged really well so there's a ton of new products here I have some new blushes some new eyeshadow palettes I have a brow pencil and eyeliner and a whole bunch of lip products so I'm gonna be doing tons of swatches today and trying everything on for you guys so why don't we go ahead and jump in and get started all right so let's go ahead and start with my eyes usually I like to do them before my foundation just in case there's any fallout happening um, so first up I'm gonna be using this new eyeliner this is called forever wear winged liner and and this comes in two shades I believe black and brown I got the brown one which is called dark and stormy and this one claims to be an ultra precise eyeliner that's a long wearing that won't smudge skip or feather and it has a flexible tapered tip that is supposed to let you customize your look with ultimate precision so lately I've been doing my eyeliner even before my eyeshadow because I have very hooded eyes and usually once my eyeshadow is in place I don't want to be kind of like pulling or tugging at this area and touching the eyeshadow and messing it up trying to put my liner on so so I just find it a lot easier to do this first and that way too if I mess up my liner which I always do I can go ahead and just wipe it off quick and redo it and I'm not gonna mess up the rest of my eyeshadow so that's just one thing I've really found that works for me lately all right so what I do is just kind of start towards the outer edge here and then I wing it out this way And then I kind of draw the triangle back like this and fill that in. And then for the rest of the line, I just do a really, really skinny one right along my lash line. Again, because my eyes are hooded, I don't want to take up a lot of lid space with eyeliner. So I just try to keep it as skinny and as close to my lash line as I possibly can. Okay, so here's one eye done. I think it came out okay. It was a little bit trickier to use than my regular brush tip, but we'll see how long this lasts throughout the day. But I did like that it wasn't skipping. It seemed to be really pigmented. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then we'll move on to eyeshadow. Okay, so liner is done on this eye. It's probably not gonna look completely even because this eye is a little more hooded than this one and I pretty much can never get them to match, so I just have to do the best that I can. So anyway, let's move on to brows. This one is called the Skinny Micro Brow Pencil, and I got mine in the shade Taupe. It also claims to be long wearing. It's an ultra fine retractable brow pencil, and it's a 1.5 millimeter tip. It also on the other end has a buffing brush that looks kind of like those Artiste brushes, and I actually love this idea for brows instead of a spoolie, because at the end of the day, your brows are hair, just like the hair on your head, and this looks like a little mini hairbrush so I thought that was really really cute and I'm really hoping this color is going to be a good match for me so let's go ahead and see what happens my eyebrows are a little bit cooler in tone um, so I try to get either a taupe or if they don't have taupe I usually get blonde because then the light brown ones are usually too warm so this brow pencil is actually very very pigmented you hardly have to press at all to get it to show up on your skin. So it's not like one of those brow pencils that's really hard and waxy. It's really, really easy to use. And then let's see how the brush kind of distributes the product. It's very soft. I feel like with a spoolie, you're kind of scratching at your skin a little bit, but this feels really nice and soft. So I like that. So just looking at this color next to my brows, I do think it's a little bit warmer than my actual brows are, but that's fine because my new hair color is a little bit warmer of a brown as well. So I feel like maybe adding in a little bit of warmth might just help my brows to kind of match my hair up just a little bit more. So, so far I really like the brow pencil. I think it was super easy to use and really quick to do my brows. So moving on to eyeshadow, I got two of these new quads to try out. These are called the Petal Play Shadow Quads and I believe they had like four or five different options. I got two of them to try out just to see what the formula was like. So the first one I wanna show you is called Gilded Lily and this one is a really beautiful neutral option. And you have kind of a satiny beige in the top left corner. You have a golden shimmer shade. You have a really deep brown matte and then you also 
also have another kind of beigey light brown mat as well. And the formula on this feels really, really nice. The mats were so silky. They were some of the smoothest mats I've ever felt. There was no skipping, no patchiness at all. And then the shimmer shade had a really rich, buttery, creamy feel to it, almost like a cream eyeshadow. And then the other quad that I got is called Black Iris. And this one is a little bit deeper and smokier. You actually have two shimmer shades in this one, a really deep purple, and then one that's more of like a taupey lavender. And then you have two matte shades, one that's more of a taupe, and then the other one that's like a deep grayish blue. So this one is really beautiful as well, but I think for today's look, I'm probably gonna go with the Gilded Lily just because of what I'm wearing today. I feel like this will go with my outfit a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this shade down in the bottom corner here for my crease, and I'm gonna be using my Refer number 15 brush. Okay, so wow, this actually put down quite a bit more color than I was expecting. It looks really light in the pan, but that's actually, goes on a little bit darker than it looked. It's blending out effortlessly as well. And that's actually very impressive because usually shadows that blend this easily kind of blend away to nothing. And this is just sticking to my skin really nicely. And it's not blending the color away. It's not powdery. I don't see like kick up going everywhere. So this is really, really nice so far. Okay, so next I'm gonna dip into this deep brown shade in the bottom corner here. And I'm gonna use my little number three pencil brush from Refer. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to the outer corner and just deepen up my crease with it a little bit on the outside. I love this little pencil brush for that because it lets you get really precise, especially if you have hooded eyes. And then I'm just gonna take my refer number 14 brush, which is like a little mini crease brush, and just blend that out a little and soften it. This brush is awesome too, because it's so small, I can keep this color down here. If I used a larger crease brush, I feel like it would start to blend it up into that color, which I don't want to happen. When you don't have a lot of lid space, it's great to use smaller brushes like this. And this shade is also blending out really nicely. It's staying where I put it, but at the same time, it softens nicely. It doesn't look patchy or anything. It's not getting muddy. I think these shadows are really performing well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little dot of concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I'm just gonna put it on my lid right where I'm gonna put that shimmer shade. I like to do this because it helps to kind of bring my eyelid forward a little bit and just carve out exactly where I want that lid shade to go. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with this gold shade right here, and I'm just gonna pack that on my lid with my finger. This is showing up really nicely as well. All right, so here's one eye done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. All right guys, so eyes are done. Off camera, I applied mascara and also foundation. So for mascara, I don't have a Flower Beauty one, unfortunately, so I just used the Urban Decay Lash Freak and I really like this one. It's very clumpy, but it also gives me huge lashes. And then for my foundation, I'm using something a little bit older from Flower Beauty. This is their Pore Perfect Instant Blur Stick and Multitasking Foundation. I actually just picked up a new one of these. I really enjoy the blur stick on the end of it. As I put it across my cheeks, my pores just did disappear like right before my eyes. It's a really smoothing primer. And then the uh, foundation on the other side is one of the only foundation sticks that doesn't look dry and cakey on my dry skin. So it's just very smoothing and very skin-like and it's more of like a light to medium coverage while a lot of stick foundations can be more on the heavier side. So overall, I just really enjoy this a lot. So next up we have blush and I am so, so excited because they released new shades of their Flower Pots blushes and if you you've been around for a while on my channel, you know that their original flower pots are some of my favorite blushes in my whole collection, whether it's drugstore or high end. They're just so easy to blend. They look amazing on your skin and they're long lasting throughout the day. So when I saw that they had two new shades, I put them in my cart immediately. So first up we have the shade Spiced Petal and they actually have a lipstick called Spiced Petal. So I wasn't sure if these were supposed to be similar, but this one is just a gorgeous peachy nude. It has a matte finish and I just love this 
this color so much. When I first swatched it, I was like, this is my color. This is going to be so perfect for fall, especially. It's just gorgeous. So I also wanted to compare it quickly to the Spice Petal lipstick from their Petal Pal collection. That lipstick is one of my favorites. It's like a really close dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. But when I saw these two swatched side by side, I didn't think they were really that similar at all. I think the lipstick is quite a bit more pink tone. So I don't know if they're actually supposed to match or if they just like that name and used it again. And then the second blush is called Barrymore, kind of like a play on words of Drew Barrymore's last name. And this one is more of like a deep berry tone. I was a little bit hesitant because I have fair skin if this was going to be too dark on me, but I actually did use it the other day. And as long as I go in with the light hand, it's totally fine. And I think it's a gorgeous, cool toned berry shade for the fall. I think this is going to be, again, just a great fall and winter color. And as I mentioned, the four original Flower Pop blushes are my all-time favorite blushes. So I wanted to go ahead and swatch those colors next to these just so you could see how they compare. So first up, we have the two new shades on the left-hand side. We have the Spice Petal and Berrymore. And then starting from the left in that last group of four, we have Warm Hibiscus, Sweet Pea, Peach Primrose and Wild Rose. So all of those are gorgeous colors as well. And I feel like with the two new ones, they just kind of added a couple of slightly deeper options. So I thought that was really, really nice. So for today's look, I think I'm gonna go with the Spiced Petal one and I'm gonna be using my Refer number no. five blush brush. This is such an amazing blush brush. I love this one. All right, so I haven't tried this shade yet, but I am so excited to see what it looks like. Yeah, I just love how soft and blendable these blushes are. And this color is gorgeous. Wow. I think it pairs so nicely with the colors on my eyes today too. So yeah, this blush color is beautiful. Probably looking at my new favorite right here. Next up, I have four new lip products to share with you guys as well. First up are these scribble sticks and these are actually supposed to be meant for either lips or eyes. So you can use them either way as an eyeliner, eyeshadow crayon, or as either lip liner or lipstick. So the two shades that I have are Tickle Me Pink and Bittersweet. So first up, you're looking at Tickle Me Pink and this one is a beautiful pinky nude, kind of like a your lips but better sort of color. And then the next one is Bittersweet. And this one is a little bit more of a brownish nude, which I think is also gorgeous. It's kind of like that 90s brown. I really, really like this one as well. And I think this is gonna be another perfect color for fall. But I think for today's look, the Tickle Me Pink shade is gonna go really well. It almost looks very similar to the Spice Petal blush. So I think it's gonna complement that really well. So I'm just gonna kind of line my lips first and then fill them in. So this shade is gorgeous. It feels really creamy. Um, it's not like a super hydrating type of lip balm type of feel. I think to me it feels more like a matte bullet lipstick. So it's not as dry as like a matte liquid lipstick, but it definitely feels like a little bit more on the drier side, but hopefully it's gonna be okay. It actually it looks very smoothing on my lips. And I think this color is beautiful. And because it's not like super slippery or emollient, hopefully it's a little bit more of a long lasting formula, but I really love this so much. Um, so now let's go ahead and move on to the other lipsticks that I found. So next up we have the Perfect Pout lipsticks. And if you've been around for a while on my channel, you know that I love their Petal Pout lipsticks. Those are some of my absolute favorites in my collection. So I wasn't sure if these were actually gonna be replacing those, but I think because these are a completely different formula that they're probably gonna be in addition to those. The Petal Pouts have kind of two different finishes. They have a satin finish and then they have a matte finish. And those are more of like a traditional lipstick they're super high pigment like in one swipe they go on really full color and they feel really weightless on your lips like you're hardly wearing anything so i wear those really often in videos if you see me wearing like a nude pink lip color it's probably either naked blush or spice petal but these on the other hand actually feel more like tinted lip balms and they're sheer to the point where you could almost like put them on without a mirror and you would be okay so i'll show you quickly the three shades that i got so the first one up is buttercup and this one one is a really beautiful kind of peachy nude shade and then next up we have the shade blossom this one's also a nude but it's just a step deeper than the first one it's a little bit more of a brownish nude versus a peachy nude and then the third shade is called blush rose and this one is like a rosy nude it's absolutely beautiful it's a little bit more on the cool tone side versus the other two so I've really been enjoying this formula a lot lately I think these are gonna be great heading into the fall and winter when my lips get a lot drier and I tend to reach for more tinted 
scented balms. Those are gonna be awesome because they just feel so hydrating on the lips. The next lip product I wanted to talk about are these new Powder Play lipsticks. These are actually a powder in a jar that turns into a cream on contact with your skin. So if you've been buying from Flower Beauty since the beginning, you might remember that they used to have blushes very similar to this. They were in like a little square container jar with like a lid and they had a sifter and basically it was a powder just like this and you put your brush in and start blending it on your cheeks and it would turn from a powder into a cream and they were some of the most long lasting blushes. They only had two colors I think, but I was obsessed with those. I kept them long past their potential expiration date because they were just some of my favorite blushes and I was so sad that they were discontinued. These are pretty much the exact same thing, just in better packaging. So when I saw these, I thought immediately, I'm gonna use these as cream blushes as well because it feels and acts like the exact same type of formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the two colors that I have and kind of blend them out with my finger so you can see how these work. So first up we have the shade Tease. As you can see when you pull the applicator out, it just looks like it's kind of covered in powder. And this is a really beautiful warm pinky nude shade. And as I'm drawing it onto my skin, you can see it just kind of melting into that cream, which is so super cool. And then when I blend it out with my finger, it just kind of softens the color a little bit and shears it out, but it's, absolutely beautiful. It feels really soft and really creamy, but it's not sticky. So that's why I think these would make an amazing cream blush. And I kind of feel like because they've had these in the past that maybe it's like the same formula. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but next up is the shade Flirt. And this one is more of like a brownish nude again. It's really beautiful. It's definitely worth a look, especially if you like really long lasting lip color. And you would also potentially use these on your cheeks as well. I think they would be like a great two in one product. So so just quickly I want to show you guys some lip swatches so you can see what these look like on. So first up we have the shade Tease. I think this one is my favorite. I love the way this looks on my lips. It's the lighter of the two but it's just like the most perfect pinky nude shade. And then we have the color Flirt. This one is a little bit more peachy in tone and I love this one too. Actually I really can't decide between these two. I think they're both gorgeous. And then last but not least, we have the Bitten Lip Stain. So I also got these in two colors. I got the shades Play and Koi, and they also had quite a few different options of these as well. I think the two that I got were, again, more on the lighter side of the spectrum. So these lip stains have a really nice formula. I'll go ahead and show you some swatches. The first shade here is Koi, and this one, again, it's like a really beautiful light coral shade. And as you can see, these do have a lot of shine to them. Once they dry down, the shine does go away somewhat, but I feel like they're not quite as drying as some other lip stains are, yet they hold on and they last on your lips for a long time. They kind of, in a way, remind me of the new ones from the Balm, the creamy lip stains, where they're kind of like a next generation of lip stain, where they're not like those inky ones they used to have in the past that kind of smelled like alcohol and dried out your lips almost immediately. These are not like that. I I don't think that they're over the top moisturizing either, but they're not like those super dry ones. And then the second shade is Play, and this one, again, is kind of like a berry nude, almost like it has a little bit of a brownish tint to it. To me, this color also reminds me a little bit of the 90s. So I'll go ahead and show you guys swatches of these on my lips. The first one is Koi, again. I just love this coral. I feel like this is gonna be a beautiful color going into the summertime and the springtime. Not that I can't wear it now, but I think it's gonna pair with those types of looks really well. And then next we have the shade Play. This one is quite a bit deeper, so I think if you're into deeper lip colors in the fall and winter, this shade is gonna be a really pretty option. All right guys, so my makeup is done. I love how it turned out. I really enjoyed everything that I tried today. I think there's pretty much all winners here. I can't think of anything that I really disliked except for maybe the eyeliner just because I was uncomfortable using this type of a felt tip. It was just a little bit tricky for me, but I was still able to make it work in the end. I love the new blushes. I think the eyeshadow quads are really good. I haven't tried this one yet, but I really enjoyed this one a lot. All the lip products I think are fantastic. I really especially am enjoying the Perfect Pout lipsticks and also these Scribble Sticks. I can't wait to try these on my eyes. I haven't done that yet, um, but they're really nice and creamy. But at the same time, I feel like they're not gonna like crease all over the place because they're not super emollient either. I think they're that perfect balance between being too dry or being too emollient. So I will let you guys know, hopefully in an update video, what I thought of these on my eyes. 
Also, super excited about these Powder Play Lippies, especially I think to use them on my cheeks. I'm even maybe more excited about that than on my lips just because I loved their original blushes that were like this so much. And also I really like the lip stains. I love having an option that you can wear under a mask that's not gonna get all over everything, but at the same time, these are not as drying as lip stains that used to be around. So overall, very impressed with everything from Flower Beauty. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below if you've tried any of these products yet or if you're planning on getting any of them I'd love to hear which ones thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I always appreciate it if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also if you're not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button in the corner of your screen and I'll see you all in my next video take care guys bye